Hey guys, what's going on? Um, welcome to Pop Bricks. Today we're going to be doing a review of Lego Set 10199, the Winter Toy Shop. This set comes with 815 pieces, has uh, seven minifigs, and has uh, the toy shop and an outdoor scene that you can set up in a bunch of different ways. Yeah, you can kind of take a look at the box and show some of the different scenes you can recreate. Um, tons of extras, tons of extra little accessories and features. So, oh. so we'll get the set put together and take a look a little closer at each individual piece. Alright, um, comes with one instruction book. It's fairly thick, but um, pretty easy instructions to follow. And uh, extra pieces, you get a good many little extra pieces in case you lose a few. Or It's always good to get extras just for the uh, collection and use them with somewhere else. And we'll take a look. This is the completed scene set up, um, kind of like the box has it. You've got your Christmas decorating scene with your toys and snowman. And this is the uh, toy shop. We'll take a little closer look a little later. And this is the Christmas Carol scene uh, with the uh, bench. Overall, it's a really nice set. Um, tons of playability, a lot of extras, a lot of things you can do with it. And uh, just a good Christmas set that you could put out every year if you'd like or add to other Christmas sets. And we'll take a closer look at each individual minifig. Um, this is the woman. You can see that she has printing on her jacket and um, it's kind of neat. It has the space emblems, kind of a throwback to the early space Lego sets. This is the toy maker. Um, it's pretty well detailed. It has a lot of printing on the front and back. You can see his overalls down to the buttons and everything. Um, the set does come with three children figures, um, none of which have any printing front or back. But um, two of them have a few little extras. This guy's got a, a vest and a cap. And this one comes with a skiing helmet and a um, scarf. And this one also has a, um, a double printing on the face. You can put an angry face on him if you'd like but for the set they work. Um, the carolers, the woman is pretty plain, no printing on the front. Um, does have the block, dress, body, um, but the cape is nice. It's the, the double color layered cape which I think looks really nice uh, with what they're going for. Um, the male caroler however does have printing on the front, nice gold buttons on his jacket and a um, airplane emblem which is kind of interesting. And he does come with this top hat and scarf with no back printing. Alright, we'll take a closer look at the Christmas tree. Um, I really like this one. It's um, got a lot of texture, a lot of detail in the leaves. The stand is really nice with the gold bottoms, um, the gold knobs. The uh, I really like the string of lights. I wish it was a little longer, but for what it does, it's just really nice. You have your different color lights and you can either put it on the tree or have the uh, one of the minifigs put it on but you just kind of oh, snaps on or you can just kind of lay it about and it's got a few other little lights in the tree and of course the star on the top and you do get a good bit of accessories to put under the tree one of my favorite is the jack-in-the-box it looks really nice it's a really kind of a fun build in itself I always like building the small stuff for some reason um, this is the bear Teddy bear, you can see it's like a neat little build just out of regular everyday Lego blocks that you have a ton of, so you can probably make a bunch of them. Here's your standard gift that you can probably make a bunch of these as well if you wanted to put a bunch around the tree. And you get a ladder so you can have uh, a mini fig up decorating the tree if you'd like, holding the lights or putting one of the other ornaments on the tree. And the other uh, accessory is the um, snowman. Pretty nice build. It's got a top hat and a scarf. And you can pose the the toy maker with a uh, does come with a carrot, so you can have him out finishing the finishing the snowman. It's an additional way you can put the toy maker in the scene. So it's a really nice little addition. All right, uh, we'll take a closer look at the actual toy shop. This is the main part of the set, I would say. Um, I like the detail, the architectural detail 
uh, added by the Technic blocks. Um, you can see the Reeves and the Eaves. And one of my favorite parts of the toy shop is actually the uh, chimney here. I like the the old brick kind of exposed through it. And if you look in, you can see there's flames in the in the fireplace. But in the windows of the toy shop, there's a few little neat uh, mini builds of a uh, robot in one window. And this is probably my favorite build. It's included in a lot of Christmas sets. It's the train, the little train. Although they've updated the, the wheels now to a flat wheel for the newer Christmas sets. But and you got the ladder that goes up to the loft, which we'll take a closer look at. And up in the loft is you can put the toy maker. It's his little workspace. He's got a chair that swivels. And you can see on his workbench, he's working on a little race car with his tools here. And this is where the uh, light brick is. And you can kind of see from this side that it lights up fairly well. And at night, it gives it a, a nice look. And we'll take a look at the uh, light brick from the other side. See the toy maker working through the window. It's a really nice feature of the set. Um, the front door, you can open it and kind of have the people go in and out. And that's uh, a look at the uh, toy shop. All right, we'll take a look at the last part of the scene. This is just an addition to the outdoor scene. Um, you get a nice bench with a tree. Um, comes with a little cat. This is a really nice street light uh, with the double lanterns in the reef. Uh, this little stack is actually supposed to be snowballs for this <laughs> this mischievous little kid who's about to uh, throw snowballs at the carolers. And now that they have their books, there you can set them up out in the scene, caroling, about to get pelted in the face by this little fella. But um, it's a really nice scene. Um, a lot of playability, a lot of uh, additions you can make to it with the other Christmas sets. Uh, the only drawback I see is the build is not as sturdy as I'd like. I know kind of the the angle of the roof it's hard to make it extremely sturdy, but but overall it's a good scene. You just can't really play too hard with the toy shop. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, Pop Bricks. We're going to be doing a ton more builds, reviews, mocks. A little bit of everything, so stay tuned.